First of all, welcome to the Nerd Factor Podcast. That's what's happening right now. We're here uh, with the Madison County Public Library in Richmond and Berea, Kentucky. We're currently recording in CeCe's office in Berea, Kentucky, and the lights are off. Yes. <laughs> Just as we like it. <laughs> Just as we like <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is this is like a faux nerd factor after dark after hours <laughs> after at well we got a nerd mm. factor during hours during yeah very no. much very much during hours no, yes never mind everybody i guess yeah or like before hours God. yeah <laughs> there we go it's like before <laughs> hours i haven't had nearly enough coffee for before hours i haven't either mine got really cold and there's nothing worse than that so Mm, yeah, cold coffee gets pretty nasty. I can drink it up to a point, and then it's like as my friend uh, was talking about it one day. He's like, coffee is one of those things where it's like it's fine, 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 fine. Poison. Yes, <laughs> wow, that's so true. Right, and it'll be fine. It can get colder and colder and colder, and then all of a sudden it will reach this point where it is completely unpalatable. Oh, see, okay, um, I, I was uh, we, I was misunderstanding you there a little bit because I myself am an. Um, uh, what's a good word? Unacceptably addicted to coffee. Okay. So Same. you were talking about its palatability. Uh huh. I was talking about you can drink it and drink it and drink it and drink it, but once you get to the gallon mark, you uh, actually might be killing. Oh, yourself. please don't well, do that. Um, <laughs> you know, actually, I think both of these are accurate. Uh, well, yeah, they are for sure. <laughs> Yikes! That's, wow. That's, that second one was my personal experience of coffee. Oh. I'm like, yeah, I'm having uh, a great know, time. You know, I will say I've time. been there too. Yeah. Not not a gallon, dear God, but I've gotten to the point where I've had, I've been drinking too much caffeine. Yeah. Not just coffee. Coffee and yeah. uh, had some had some issues. I've gone past. I've ski daddled past the jitters and slammed head on into. Oh, this is a problem. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is a problem. Ski daddled. Past See, the I'm like extremely caffeine sensitive, mm-hmm. so really? I can't have anything past like noon or so. Right. Oh, yeah. Or I'm just an absolute mess for the rest of the day. That's you're a normal person. <laughs> yeah, like I don't know normal, about that. Healthy. I'm like, strong word. <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna say yeah. normal. Is such a strong word. <laughs> <laughs> That's, you take care of yourself. You have self-respect. <laughs> so well, I, see, I, think. <laughs> I like to sleep. That's what it is. Mm, sleep so. is important. Okay. Sleep is important. Okay. Sleep is It'd very be nice important. if I got more of it. Mm-hmm. All, I think all of us can say that. True That's statement. what is it? Being adult is just telling each other you're t- being an adult is just telling each other you're tired until you die or something. Pretty I don't much. remember. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Rescheduling. Is that those bits. like marriage yeah. tweets? Yes. That people oh put my out? God. They're so funny. Totally. They are. Tom was reading some to me last night and I was cracking up. I was like every now and then I'd be like, no, that one doesn't apply to us. Yeah. But then other ones I'd be like, oh my God, I'm the husband in that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's another pants roll, April. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> the one that I live by is like, Marriage is just a series of texts asking what the other one wants for dinner. Heck yeah, yeah, no doubt, no doubt. <laughs> Until you die. Yes. Yeah, no doubt. yes, very much so. I just saw this morning, uh, being married is just saying what from the other room. <laughs> <laughs> Until you die. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And oh listen, my God! Yes. I got to tell you something, guys. If I may. Uh, for yes, please. I, listen, I am. Uh, I'm a man. <laughs> As what? Uh, listeners, <laughs> you might be aware of this from, from my deep voice or the, the various gonna, photographs. I was going to say, man is such a strong word. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the various photographs of my facial hair that you might encounter on our social media channels. So I am a man. But, I mean, I really just want to say, like, I, uh, uh, I, I feel like whenever, whenever, whenever gender conversations come up, like, that's a man thing or that's mm-hmm. such a woman, like the kind of the stereotyping pe- like, I immediately throw up walls, and I'm like, stop that. I don't want to be in that conversation. I don't agree with those things. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, no, I do. If we can't be equal, we can't be nothing. So I walk away from, well, she's just being a woman, or he's, that's a man <laughs> thing. Okay, but. There's a big, ho- there's a big, there's a big but about to happen. <laughs> oh. Here, here, comes, here comes my big but. Oh. My <laughs> however, I will call it my Your big, big man but. My big <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> um. That's what happens when the lights go off. <laughs> right on. When it comes to like hearing things, especially things that like um, m- uh, my romantic partner mm-hmm. is saying, even in the same room, 
I become like this. I immediately devolve into this caveman stereotype <laughs> male. I'm like, huh? <laughs> like, I, it's honest. So it's almost for me. What I'm trying to say is, it feels choiceless. Like I get frustrated with it. I'm like, I want to hear you, <laughs> but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. It's a real, it's a real problem. Every romantic partner I've ever had in my life has been like, is there something wrong with your hearing? And I think I, I'm just. A, a man. I'm not sure that's a man thing. I, you yeah, don't think I don't, so? I think I don't, yeah. I, see, I'm with you, Brandon, in a lot of ways. Mine and Tom, our relationship is, our, our, we don't follow a lot of the gender stereotypes right. within a, within our relationship. Sure. Um, we are in a, in a heterosexual relationship, right. marriage. Sure. A man butt. We, we're married. Butt, you know. We're, yeah. Um, <laughs> geez, what the heck was I trying to say there? Two butts, different genders. I get it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I'm, Gonna walk away from that one, and then um, the walk away from my butt, April. <laughs> I'm, s- I'm running away from your butt. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. 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 So, but we don't follow, you know, the 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 gender norms for the for the relationship. You know, the woman does the cleaning mm-hmm. and the cooking and the sure, laundry. Sure, sure, sure. I can't tell you. I think I cooked the f- dinner for the first time last night in months. Okay. Months. Yeah. And he does most of the laundry because I'm not home. But we've talked about that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we've mentioned that here. <laughs> and then I think I, I, well, and I clean the kitchen, but he's also sick right now too. And so I'm trying to pick up a little bit more because he doesn't take care of himself. And um, I don't think that that's necessarily a, a man woman thing. I mm-hmm. think that's just a Tom and April thing. Well, it's like two humans. Yeah. In the same what house, it is. You know? Yeah. But I do think that some people don't want to step outside of the gender stereotypes when it comes to doing like housework and stuff. Yeah. You know? I think those people are missing out. Huh? I'm sorry. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> what? I kind of lost the last two, three minutes of a conversation. I'm back now though. <laughs> huh? <laughs> what? Huh? <laughs> Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> I was in a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> but I have returned. I mean, Brooke does that to me all the time, but I talk a lot. <laughs> like, I will get home and just like, blah, 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 like nonstop. And she does not enjoy talking a lot. <laughs> so I think she probably just like shuts down mm. as often as she can. <laughs> <laughs> so that, like, Run away. So that she <laughs> pretends to listen to me. But that yeah. is so funny. Well, so yeah, it, but seriously, norms. in a lot of those, in a lot of those marriage tweet things, mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm the husband. Okay. I'm the husband. Okay, right on. Totally What's the, the one that's like marriage is a series of pushing the trash down yes, in, until the <laughs> other one takes it out? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. That's good. That's good. yes. That's great. Uh, yeah. Guilty. Oh, so guilty. So I guilty. We both started laughing last night. <laughs> I was like, yep, that's us. <laughs> I do it to myself. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's oh, like good basically Lord. adulthood. Brandon will never know. Good Lord. Well, good morning, everybody. Good morning. We've introduced ourselves and said yeah. welcome and everything. Oh, we haven't. So. Oh, I thought we did. Well, we Brandon. didn't say our names. I'm so Brandon. This is I'm a man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm April. I'm a woman. Right. I mean, I am. I am Cece, and I prefer not to say. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Keep you in mystery. That's yeah. brilliant. I love being nerds with you guys. <laughs> oh, same, 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 same. Mm. Like I'm a, uh, so I was like, I'm a woman. I know. I mean, I know I'm female, but <laughs> well, you did. Like, you were like, I'm a woman. I'm like, but does it matter? It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. I'm all. here to tell you, it does not. I appreciate that. that. That's helpful to me because sometimes I'm like, oh man, stupid men. You know. Well, well, I have gender guilt. It's kind of tough right now. Well, yeah. it is. Yeah. It yeah. is very yeah. tough right now yeah. to be. Well, to be anybody, but especially to be a man, it seems. Well, uh, I mean, because so of, well, of like, like because of what's going on in with with people who are in very public mm-hmm. offices. Sure. Oh, yeah. Like, I mean, this morning. Uh, this I know. Morning, Matt did you guys, Lauer. Matt Lauer was That's fired. That's huge, you guys. This morning. That's huge uh, for sexual misconduct. Mm-hmm. Why? <laughs> uh, you're know. kidding me. This is, no, I, no. I wish I news. was. I Matt wish I was. Lauer, I'm I not hope, super surprised, though. I hope it didn't happen before the hairline went. <laughs> well, I think the hairline's Brooke, been gone for a very long time. That's true, you're right. I'm wondering who it was. Oh, man. Or who it wasn't might be a better Well, and the, 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 the statement that the studio released was that oh. it they had reason to believe that this was not the first incident. Yes. 
mm-hmm. uh, that it was not an isolated incident. Yeah. And so, um, so on one hand, you know, it is it is a very tough time to be a man because, mm-hmm. I mean, I, I I'm thinking about it from the perspective of were I in these sho- in these shoes, trying to remember every encounter that mm-hmm. you have ever had. Did you ever? It, behave in a way that was inappropriate mm. yeah <laughs> i mean well i mean i think that every encounter you've ever had and it's like oh my god i think you know i'm a good person i think for the most part i did okay mm. uh, you know there was this one time i got drunk or whatever mm. you know but i'm just thinking about it and mm. like i can only imagine i mean i've made some mistakes you guys not because i'm a man but because i'm a person mm-hmm. yeah i think yeah and, you know but i've for sure made some mistakes yeah but well of course we all have right yeah but absolutely i'm so glad know. that when i was a teenager social media did not exist <laughs> oh my god yes <laughs> for real so it's it's an inch it's it's interesting but at the same time i think it's a i think this is well overdue i think it's it's mm. fantastic that yes this is happening absolutely and that there is finally this this change as a society but yep. Man, yeah. I mean, I think what's sad, and I think, I think that even now, like people are getting up in arms about these prominent men mm. yeah. falling from grace or whatever. Yeah, well but said. I think what's sad is that these women. I mean, it's taken them thirty years right. to have the courage mm. to say something. Mm. Absolutely, and that's what I think keeps getting lost. I mean, we're Ag- agreed. We're still like in the well. Why didn't they say something then? You know, and. Yeah. Unless, unless you, unless it happened to you, you can't. You don't understand. No, yeah, you can't say anything at all. Yeah, I've, I've, um, I've been in a situation in the past, not to do with this, but in a situation in the past where it's like you can say that you're gonna, re- that when you're in this situation, you're going mm-hmm. to re- react a certain way, mm-hmm. and until you are in that position, you have no idea how you're gonna gonna react. Exactly, you have mm-hmm. no mm-hmm. idea. Mm-hmm. And it went, you know, and before I was in that position, I said, you know, if I were ever in these shoes, I, this is what I would do. Mm-hmm. No, mm-hmm. <laughs> no, yeah. Well, I'm happy that it's coming to light. It's a little bit like, for me, I have a feeling of like, uh, you know, when there's a big forest and the, and, and the, the people would move in and they'd need to, to f- make the land fertile so they'd mm-hmm. raise the forest, R-A-Z-E, mm-hmm. they'd mm-hmm. burn the forest mm-hmm. so that uh, they could grow crops mm-hmm. into like right. next season, you know what I mean? Right. So obviously that burning process is a destructive process, but it fertilizes the soil <coughs> for healthy yeah, and, and this and, is true. And so this that, is so true. That the people can thrive, you know. So I hope this kind of weeding process yeah. uh, and exposing uh, uh, corruption mm-hmm. um, on a on a grand scale. Uh, uh, you know, men men are getting it right now because by golly, men deserve it. I think, <laughs> you know, just that's my opinion. Not, I mean, but, uh, like, yeah, yeah. So anyway, but well, yeah, if you do a bad scary. thing, you have to absolutely, here, here, absolutely, you know, here, I mean, right on. Here, and it's here. and it's it's one of those things where I'm like, I don't. On w- on this is going to sound harsher than I mean it to be, mm. but I don't care who the victim was or mm. the victims were mm. in that I don't care. I don't need to invade their privacy. Mm-hmm. Uh, if yeah. they want to share, yeah. then that's right, up to right, them. Right. You're saying you don't need to know. I don't need to know. Uh, okay. Yes, I'm curious, mm. but I don't need to know. And mm-hmm. if they sh- choose to never come forward, that is perfectly okay with me mm-hmm. because what, what needed to be done was justice for them, mm-hmm. and that's and they yeah. can contain, they can retain their anonymity. Okay. Right. So I was like, it's going to sound harsher than I mean it to, no, 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 I feel but, like. but yeah, no, that's where that's where I am. Yeah, yeah. So, well, chuckle, chuckle, yeah. y'all. I was like, <laughs> hey, fun y'all want to talk about fines? Because <laughs> <laughs> that's my topic for the day. <laughs> oh. Yes, let's. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> Good oh, Lord. And guys, I just want to say, um, uh, uh, if I may, really briefly, uh, I ha- my topic is a revisit of a previous topic, and it's super brief. So please, oh, okay. I say that now to let you, please feel free. My topic can be three minutes long. T- today. Mine is kind of a revisit as well. Okay. This okay. is interesting. Uh, yeah. it's, it's a bit of an expansion on a previous topic. Right, right, right. No, mine doesn't have to be. I just want to let you know. Well, why don't you go first so that we can have something oh, well, slightly. and That wasn't my intention. but Slightly uh, not, not so heavy. Okay. Well, does that feel okay? Sure. Okay. Go super, super quick. Okay. So I'll make it super quick. Uh, that I really hope that your topic is really heavy, though. <laughs> <laughs> it, is. it is. Let's talk about murder. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
in the last podcast that we were all together for, uh, I talked a little bit about microtransactions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In gaming, modern AAA. Um, I misspoke in that podcast. I called it AA gaming because I'm a bonehead. It's AAA gaming. And these are like the big. What? <laughs> right. Well, now I know. Right. He's so dumb. Um, he left out an A, idiot. <laughs> Dude, there have been so many episodes I'm listening to afterwards, and I'm like, oh my God. Uh -huh. <laughs> Did I say. <laughs> I meant this. Right, right, right. <laughs> so, um, the, one of the biggest topics I brought up was this, this uh, modern, a uh, uh, AAA brand new game called Star Wars Battlefront 2. Mm -hmm. came out for all the big consoles. Um, e Electronic Arts is the developer, kind of the main developer. It's an EA Dice game. Um, and as part of this game, you guys might remember in our discussion, this is just a really quick little recap. Um, they had introduced that the, the, the game has a, a $60 price tag, right? So you have to pay right. that to have the game. But then in addition to that, they've included this predatory microtransaction system that if you want to progress in the game or get the cool loot or get the heroes or whatever, you have to pay more money, basically, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Uh, so I saw an article yesterday, and I, so I, I, I went on for a while. Right, right, about right. That we talked about how that's such a disintegrious business practice. Um, one thing I want to say, since that time, actually Mark, our illustrious sound guy, uh, shared a, a, a YouTube video with me about microtransactions. Mm -hmm. And it helped me to kind of understand that microtransactions, if, if, if they're not corrupted, right, by like a corporate greedy model, Microtransactions are a really cool way for gamers and ga in the gaming industry to kind of test games out. Here's why. If I downloaded what's called a free-to-play game, that means you can download it for free, you can play it for free, but transparently there are microtransactions in this game. Sure. Okay. Right, right, right. I get the opportunity as the consumer to try the game before I buy the game. That's n that's <laughs> never been if if this were uh, 1996 and I had my soup my Nintendo 64 the mm -hmm. only way I could try that game before I bought that game would be go to go down to old Tom's video store mm -hmm. and hope that the one copy he had was available for me to rent. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So that's so it's like this really great idea that we corrupt and, and corp corporations kind of inject this this predatory mm -hmm. ha 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 <laughs> let's get okay so. Here, here's the last thing, the only thing I really want to say. <laughs> Listeners, I hope that you care about me revisiting this. Uh, Electronic Arts is in big trouble. Because really? I, honestly, it's it, I'm seeing justice being done here, and I was so excited about it. I will I, tell you yeah, that please. that once you once we had that discussion, yeah, and you you shared this with me because I was not a really aware of it. I was mm -hmm. I was a little bit aware of it because sure. my son was talking about it some. Sure. But I'm not gonna lie. I'm like you when with <laughs> with you're all huh? <laughs> <laughs> what what From the other room? <laughs> I, I I I I love him and I love that he shares his nerd stuff with me. He shares yeah. a lot of things with me, but he shares his nerd stuff especially with me. Yeah. And I love that. But there. are I tune out a lot of it too. No doubt. Just just because. Yeah. <laughs> so he had started to mention it a little bit, but once we had this conversation, I started seeing stuff about it mm -hmm. everywhere. It it's like when you buy a white Volvo, whatever, right? Yeah. You right. see you everybody's see got white yeah. Volvos. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. You know, but this yeah. was the same thing. I was made aware of it once you yeah. once you we had this conversation. So please yeah. go ahead. Oh, no. Sh share well, your article. Yeah. So well it made national headlines. It was it was yeah. interestingly enough, we mentioned Matt Lauer. They mentioned this on the Today Show. It's been on the um, front page of the New York Times. Hmm. This very so so what's happening now is the triple A gaming industry. The, the fans and the users have spoken in the AAA gaming industry are being forced by the only thing they understand, money, honey, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Check it out. Uh, this is from uh, an article on HuffPost I saw yesterday. The, comp uh, the company, meaning EA, Electronic Arts, profitable business model is now at risk after angry gamers revolted over its aggressive in-game money-making strategy. EA's stock is down 8.5% to date. Wow. Which, which uh, That's wipes significant. out mm -hmm, $3.1 billion. Oh, oh my Whoa. gosh. $3.1 billion dollar loss because of this one tactic that they tried to use with this game. So maybe the, if they tried it with a different game, but I mean, Star Wars Battlefront, the you, that audacity. Was, is that the, is that the game that, that they were? That yeah. The game. Oh, wow. yeah. Okay. Yeah. The game sales. So there was a, uh, this is, this is a sequel, right? Uh -huh. So two years ago. Right. The Christmas season 2015, they were, the year the first one came out. Sales are down. It's a great game. It is a great it's game. A, it's a great game. It's a fun game. Sales are down 70% from that. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, people are mad. People well, that's see, why the uh, yeah. investors wow. are <laughs> our, selling off. Right, exactly. Seventy <laughs> percent so, just for that game, just for, or for that ga- in comparison to that that games, it's uh, that game sales two years ago versus its sequels sales at this at the same time, right? So Thanksgiving weekend or Thanksgiving, mm-hmm. Black, right, right, I right. Think maybe the data came from Black Friday. You know what I mean? Right. Okay. The game was released, uh, I think, a week before Black okay. Friday, right? And right. Exactly the hmm. same two years ago. Yeah. So the people have spoken. It makes me wow. really happy to see uh, uh, people uh, 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 vote, kind of voting with their dollars. Yeah. Right, in, absolutely, in as, as you should do. As absolutely, you should do, agreed. Yeah. Uh, and making making this kind of a change in an industry that, frankly, I'm a huge nerd and I really care about. Like, I want to play yeah. a great Star Wars video game. Please. But not one that preys on me and my kids. Politi- I'm sorry right. to keep going on. No, 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 please. politicians all over the country... Uh, so this is now becoming a political issue. They're promising in Hawaii. I watched uh, a half of a press conference in Hawaii. Um, the governor of Hawaii, I unfortunately can't remember his name right now, pledged to introduce legislation into the state of Hawaii that would keep microtransactions out of console games because it's uh, it's preying on children. Agreed. Right? Little kids, well, yeah. right? And they're spending <coughs> mommy and daddy's... Uh, Credit credit card money or what have you, you know. Yeah. Um, people are calling it gambling now, and there's a little bit of a gray area there. It's a bit of a debate. Is it gambling? Is it not gambling? Mm. I'm not sure. Uh, that it's I don't think how it. I, I can see how it could turn into gambling. Right. That was really funny. Both of you turned your heads and coughed <laughs> at the same time. That was kind of funny. Oh. <laughs> not that way. <laughs> Brandon's face, you all. Yeah. Brandon is a man. <laughs> <laughs> my own, my own, my own. April is a woman? <laughs> uh, that is Question the mark? April is Again, a woman? Again, prefer not to say. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. I, all right, but I yeah. already know what the description for this is. <laughs> <That's gonna be. laughs> yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> So I, that, that's all I had to share. Thanks for letting me uh, go on one final time. I'll try really hard for like the next few episodes to like not talk about video games. <laughs> well, no, <laughs> I do fine. have a question. That's, what <laughs> that's your nerd factor. That's what you're nerding about. Out nerding out about. Well, I thank blah, you. Blah, blah. Well, thank you. <laughs> so so, all right. I'm just gonna make sure I'm clear on this. Yeah. So you open a video game, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Brand new video game. Right. Open that sucker up. You play it, mm-hmm. and then you get kind of as far as you can go without paying more money. Is that basically what the deal is? Yeah. Unless you, like, labor away. Unless you labor away what gamers call grinding. Right. Um, and that is, an, an, I can speak from personal experience, that's a very, uh, people do it. Actually, one more thing about Star Wars Battlefront. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, players, in order to do this grinding uh, uh, thing, to to, to attain this in-game currency instead of buying it, right? Mm -hmm. Because you can get it in-game. It takes hundreds of hours. What Mm -hmm. players are doing is putting rubber bands over the control, over the the motion control joystick on their controllers, sitting them down and going going to work that day. Wow. (laughs) And then coming home, seven hours of grinding, their character literally just walking in a circle. Do you see what I mean? Wow. Walking in a circle Uh, in the game. Right, right. Uh, this is what players have resorted to because of this 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 um, a very corrupt model, right? That uh, of you pay sixty dollars for this game and there's all this content, but you, you can either pay a hundred more dollars, or you can grind for two hundred hours mm-hmm. to get this other content that's in the game, but it's locked. You see? Yeah. Wow. And gamers have literally resorted to putting rubber bands and going to work. <laughs> well, I'm just I'm just glad wow. to hear that people are starting to you know refuse to do it right you know? right like, yeah. just right. not buy the game totally here here me too right because i mean i can see like microtransactions happening within within app games mm-hmm. because that's i mean that's been that you don't pay for but right yeah right um right. so those i can uh, those i can see and like the little you know i used to play clash of clans oh god that yeah, it's game a big deal. it's yeah. a it's fun yeah. but man that game the <laughs> people take it way too seriously yeah, so. yeah, oh yeah, my yeah. gosh yeah, yeah. it was like guys it's a game. Right. I tried playing it with my son, and then some of the people that were in our clan were like getting nasty yeah. to him, like, yeah. like not necessarily saying anything that was inappropriate, but like the tone was very clear mm. with what they were saying to him. And I was like, "Hold up, mm-hmm. he's fourteen. Back off." Yeah. 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 So mm. we just both stopped playing, mm. and um, I mean, and this was like with people that. Friends of friends, mm. like people that we actually oh, could. So you knew them? Well, like I didn't know them mm. personally. I knew who they were, yeah. mm. but like I didn't know them personally. Yikes! Yeah, but Still it was though, like, man. but it was like I, I, I knew, I knew 
who this person was mm-hmm. and could, in fact, physically find them in my real life mm-hmm. if I right. wanted to. Not like I'm going to go find them kind of thing, <laughs> but like I knew I like you know they're in the same town as me. It gets in, it gets intense with some of these. It games does. Now. I was like, yeah. okay, I'm out. Yeah. I am out. Yeah. And so is he. Mm-hmm. So we used to play that, but the, but then there were micro trans- transactions with that within mm. that. But, but that was always kind of acceptable mm. because it's an app. You didn't mm-hmm. pay for the game; right. you pay right. for these other things. Sure. But with consoles, I, I I absolutely agree. That yeah. is not okay. That is yeah. absolutely not okay. It's a shame. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad that this has come to light. And so I was wanted to share wow. with you guys and our listeners. I'm glad <laughs> that you did. It's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, calling back to something <coughs> from our last episode with our first guest, Dane Hostler. It was great. Great interview with him. Um, day after Thanksgiving, we played D and D, and I said that I would share how it went. <laughs> oh yeah, you did, didn't you? We lost five party members on Friday. He destroyed you guys. We. Oh, That'll it was you for brutal. Bringing your DM onto your podcast, April. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't lose anybody. Oh, In okay. fact, actually, I got. I got to kill um, something. Mm-hmm. I don't remember. Oh, it was like a troll. I don't know. It was something <laughs> big. A bear. It was a bear. I, I got to kill a bear. Nice. With my tiny little halfling. <laughs> um, but uh, so we lost, I think all total, we lost five members of our party in that dungeon. Intense, man. Yeah. It was, it was, it was pretty intense. I'm going to guess that's pretty bad. <laughs> it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. We had, I'm all, oh no, I, I don't. I think we had 17 <laughs> people going in, which is a very, very large party. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon's over here. I don't even know what he's doing. He's kind of spazzing I I out. Explain. And it's like, uh, and then he hit his microphone and this look. It was I'm really flailing funny. because it's yes. flailing. Yes. flailing. Yes. Good. flailing. It's but like, also there was some wrist. Yeah, I had some. Yeah, there was no snack treat. Finger. He's one hand clapping I was now. Yeah. Clapping for a second. There's a lot of yeah. stuff going on. April and I just kind of give him a side eye, like, uh, <laughs> like, I'm, dude, I don't know what you're Are doing. Are you seizing? I, I spaz. <laughs> I spaz okay? out a little bit when I'm like really cracking up. Yeah, so. but no, we had a party of seventeen going into this dungeon we left with 12 Dude. okay so we i mean it's a pretty large percentage of our party does that mean you had 17 folks around the table playing no okay no no okay. no right. well we, we what happened is we had one party where each of us had one character sure and our group is actually fairly large we have uh eight of us that play that's still a big D&D group. which includes our dm so that's yeah. a big group yeah <clears throat> And then we had another party where each of us had one character. And then the two parties joined up to go into this one dungeon. I'm really glad yes. they did because we would have had a total party loss. Man. Okay. <clears throat> if we hadn't. And uh, so each of us had two characters that we were playing. And mm. so, uh, well, this time I was down to one because Lagartha had died already. Tom lost a character. Uh, Katie Beth lost a character. Dane lost one of his characters. Um, who else lost a character? Oh, Braden lost a character. Ooh, man. He, yeah, we, we it was it got pretty intense there for a bit. Dude. Yeah, w- some of them were turned into goo. Okay. Oh, yeah. like literally they were <laughs> melted. <laughs> Yikes! Yeah. And now my character well, now my character has a scimitar uh, has a scimitar. Totally nerding out, guys. You can just skip. Do on. it. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Um. So my character Finn. Or no, no. Finn had the scimitar. Finn was turned into goo. My character Pip now. <laughs> Has the scimitar. Do you name them? Yes. <laughs> You're a very pippy person anyway, April. Oh, That's yes. Good sense. Yes. Well, this is Mary Pippin Thorngage. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> also known as Pip. It's my alias. <laughs> <laughs> That's your CB <laughs> handle. Come on back yeah. there, Mary Pippin Thorngage. <laughs> <laughs> How about you? <laughs> I'm cruising on down I 64, going about 75. <laughs> Mary Pippin Thorngage, come on back. <laughs> Candy cane. <laughs> Joyride. <laughs> no, no. Oh, God. Uh, that. Mm. CB handles. But anyway, so uh, friend Finn had this scimitar that if you, it was a magical object. And if you bonded with it, then if anyone attacked you, you then had to, had to attack them until they were basically goo. dead. <laughs> until they were goo as well. Why so am now, I with But the goo? thing is... <laughs> The thing is, is the Ghostbusters quote. Yeah. Yes, mm, for sure. Okay. So then, <laughs> none of us knew knew that this I- object was enchanted, mm. and so even though, so in game, <laughs> my character didn't know this, even though I did. So I had my character pick it up. So, so now my character will have to do this. How does one tell that an object is enchanted? 
Um, can I answer this question? April? Yes, please. There is uh, in a in a D and D game, mm-hmm. one can tell that an object is enchanted, <laughs> and tell many other things because there's generally a grinning uh, little elvish human being in the room with them <laughs> going like this at the table that's called the dungeon master yes <laughs> oh very true. i was like it's right uh, <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah yeah the, the dungeon master is, is a real a real thing a real life person who leads a D. Um, it's like yeah pick it up right <laughs> pick it up <laughs> right. go for it you should pick it up i find them to be uh, playfully antagonistic okay yes very much so yeah, yeah. And we actually did discuss the possibility of bringing Lagartha back to life, and it's just not not feasible. Mm. It's just not feasible. Mm. Well, I was gonna I was gonna ask if these things get like super duper heated, but then you said that they Sometimes. turn to goo. So, <laughs> did the, the, the what? <laughs> but then you said that they turn to goo, and I cracked myself up. Um, you know what? With the getting heated, I love melting. Yes, true. <laughs> The what? I'm sorry. I'm still quoting Need Ghostbusters too. Slide I just, whistle. Just don't listen to me, please. <laughs> oh, okay. It's not worth your time. Alrighty. But I thought you were talking about arguments about the rules. Well, I was. And they 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 can <laughs> get <laughs> actually <laughs> quite turned <laughs> coo, and I cracked myself up in my head. <laughs> so yes, that's <laughs> what I need. It's a slide whistle. <laughs> okay, got you. Good lord. I got you. For failures. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so so yeah. So um, there the, the the arguments about the rules can get kind of heated. It can get loud in there. Mm. Yeah. And like when someone dies, is it like a big deal? It is the first time you lose a character. Yeah. Like oh. I af- after losing Lagartha that, you know, two times ago, I was like I I, I was devastated for a, a <laughs> few minutes. I was like, "Are you ca- I wh- uh, what? What? Cuz also she was the character that if I was going to lose one, I did not want to lose her." Mm. And so but then after that, we've played a, a couple other times since then. And I was like, Screw it. Yeah. <laughs> Go for it. Yeah, right. Pip, charge in there, which Pip did anyway, because Pip's kind of an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So. All right. Yeah, That's it's cool. fun. It's fun. So anyway, I just wanted to update our listeners on that. Yeah, so nice. we lo- we had lost five people. We did d- end up taking down the big baddie, and now I have a cursed scimitar. That's cool. Big baddie. The big, big baddie. The big baddie. I hope it was yeah. the truck driver on the other side of that CB conversation. It was not. It CB was like a snake <laughs> goddess person. Oh, okay. Too bad. Yeah. His name's like... I don't even remember. Boss. Eccentria. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about Joyride for a second. I was like, <laughs> I don't even remember. Oh, no. I'm just... I had to tune uh, that out. It's a scary movie. It is. Yeah. It is. It's been a while. Thank That's me. good. It's been anyway. For me, yeah. Yeah, All right. Sure. So, fines. Yeah. Let's oh, talk fines. about fines. Yeah, let's, All talk, right. about, let's talk about Speaking fines, Speaking of uh, microtransactions, maybe? Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> um, so, so, we're doing our food for fines again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Where someone can bring in a canned good. Yeah. And for every one canned good you bring in, we'll forgive $1 in fines. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a, really it's a big awesome thing. Program, yeah. Except um, for a few things. Except for, yes, lost items. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean it's a huge thing every year. People bring in a lot of canned goods. Mm-hmm. We have mm. like a truckload that we bring to the local food banks. So yeah. it's a really good thing. Yeah. So I was looking up um other fine forgiveness programs. Okay. And it's a big thing. I mean, people are really starting to do this. And what I found is the other libraries are starting to not um do fines anymore. Not really? Do fines at all. Yeah. Oh. I mean, really? I think that there's this oh. misconception that we make a lot of money off of fines. Oh, dear God, There's no. definitely that misconception. We do this not. This is true. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 right, 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 right. We definitely do not make a lot of money off of fines. Um, fines just exist to compel you to bring your stuff back. Right, sure. right. That's about it. Sure. Um, so, and within so a timely other manner so that somebody else can get the item, right? Exactly. Sure, sure. So other libraries to encourage people to come back to the library or to continue borrowing things, they've just stopped with fines completely. If you lose something, they do charge you. Right. Well, that's because that's all that we're concerned about. Yeah. Right? right. So really. like yeah. getting our stuff back. That's yeah. right. it. Right. Um, but yeah, like people will um, see me out somewhere, or like talk to me about the library, like, oh, I owe you all money. Uh, yeah, right. And Same. I'm just like, I don't care. It's totally <laughs> yeah. fine. Like we, we, I mean, really, we don't care about fines. Right. Yeah. I, well, I we mean, want people to come to the library. That's right? yeah. number one. That, that's, Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. We you want should you never here. be afraid to come to the library because Absolutely. you have fines. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. 100%. Well, and I tell people, I'm like, we want you to come use the library. We want to work with you. Just call us or come yeah. in. Yeah. We'll figure so, We'll figure it out. It's fine. Mm. It's fine. 
So I believe it was the Chicago Public Library. I'm going to look it up here. Um, so they did a just one time, if you owe us anything, we're going to forgive it. Oh, wow. And from what I understood and what I read, there was no limit. Uh-huh. Like, wow. But just like us, if you had lost stuff, you had to bring the lost stuff sure, back. Sure, sure, sure. Right. But right. they would forgive all of the other fines that you right. had. Wow. wow. So they uh, recovered something like... Like three million dollars worth oh, of stuff. Okay. Whoa! Yeah. Chicago. Yeah. Wow. Dude. So let's now, see. granted, this is Chicago. This sure, is a sure, bigger sure. library big, system. Big library system, no doubt. I wonder so how that works per capita. It was a two-week program. Okay. Wow. In 2012, and uh, people brought back more than a hundred thousand books oh, that were lost. Man, look, those books were just sitting <laughs> in oh houses. Oh my gosh! Yeah. That's awesome. But I mean, that Which just shows like the number of people that were afraid to come back because they lost a library book. Yes, you know? Oh yes, my gosh! For sure. <laughs> people, <laughs> it is okay. At the library. You know what though? I'll be. I will admit. Before I became a library employee, I was afraid to come back to the oh, library yeah. because I had were lost you really? a normal feeling. I had like yeah. it was a bag of books yeah. and DVDs. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's a bit. I had lo- I, It right? is. It is embarrassing. It's a embarrassing sure. For people. And yeah. but then so we so. Um, um, my kids are from a, a previous marriage, and during the during our our divorce, of course, we moved and things got misplaced. Mm-hmm. And so during the move, there was a bag of books and DVDs that belonged to the library that ended up shoved in the back mm-hmm. of a storage building, that were like way yep. back there. So then when 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 my husband and I bought our house and we moved into it. It was like seven years later. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I had these things. Well, no, yeah, it wasn't dude. like seven years later, yeah. but it was like. Two years, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's still enough time. It's still, it's yeah. still enough time. time. Yeah, right. We found these items, and so I brought them in, and I was like, "Ah, uh, <laughs> here, my bad. <laughs> here you go." And of course, you know, they worked. They worked with me, got it all straightened out, and now I work here. <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> and then we're like, "Hey, do you want a job?" Yeah, <laughs> totally, <laughs> totally. Nice, nice, nice. Oh wait, it was this library. Yeah, it was this library, Madison was, County Public Library. This whole, is the library I grew up in. The whole time that story was about our library, April. That's fun. I didn't yeah, realize. Yeah, that's yeah. Great. yeah, that's great. Yeah, it was stuff that I had checked out from Berea, and then mm. we moved to Richmond. Yeah. Okay, it was okay, like so, okay. so yeah, so during all of that, it, okay. it, so I found everything, and it was all there, still in the bag. Huh. I never thought about the embarrassment factor. It is it is embarrassing. Yeah. Well, it is yeah. very embarrassing. But I share that story with other people as I'm yeah. like, look, guys, seriously, <laughs> seriously. Mm. Come in, <laughs> because yeah. Yeah. we want you to use the library. Right, we want right. to work with you. Bottom line, right. and I'm like, it's, it happened to me. We don't want people to feel embarrassed, but I mean, I'm, I'll be. It the is first, embarrassing. I'll be though. the first in line to say that if I've, you know, and I've let, I'm an employee here, and I've let my materials go overdue like way too long oh, to be yeah. an employee, like two Constantly. months or something. Yes, crazy. I'm like so that. glad that <laughs> it's like sitting yes. on my TV stand, and I'm like, I am a, I am the scum of the earth because I go there every day. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Right. I go there every day. I have no reason not to return this, and, and yet it, there it sits. It's embarrassing. You it know, is. But, uh, I always check my own stuff in because of that. Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <me>. Same totally. here. <laughs> totally. I'm like, beep, beep, yep, yep. I'm like yeah. looking around like, please, Nobody. Heather Angel, don't see this me. <laughs> please, Heather <laughs> please, Angel. Please, Heather, don't, ju- don't judge me, Heather. <laughs> please, Heather Angel. Heather's all, I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it was Brandon that was doing that. <laughs> right. She's going to go through and change all of us from staff to like <laughs> yes. RL or whatever. Right. And yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's good. It's all wait. How do I? I owe twenty dollars in fines. Uh, wait, what? What just what? happened? What happened? How I did knew this it happen? was you all along, <laughs> Heather Angel. Mm-hmm. That's what I it knew is. It was you, and it broke my heart. It bro- yeah, yeah, broke my heart. <laughs> Love you, Heather. Uh, so at the, uh, if I may, at the mm-hmm. uh, library that I worked at in New Jersey, the Cape May County Public Library is a really great library system. Um, they did read away your fine. So you yes, heard that's of this, another you program. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've heard mm-hmm. of I heard mm-hmm. of ones like that. No, I can't remember exactly. And it was, and I think mostly children made use of it. But you mm-hmm. could come into the library and stay in the library, you mm-hmm. know, and read. It might have been like a dollar for every fifteen minutes or something like that. Wow. that you yeah. read. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Lexington wow. does something like that. Okay, I think okay. it's okay. only for kids. Like though. that okay. work though. Okay. I don't know if they do the honor system kind of yeah. like we do a right. reading card, right? Or, yeah. or if you actually have to be there. Mm. Is that what you're saying the you one you swear out you had, to, had be to be there be there yeah yeah, they had to, and yeah. And i remember because i worked circ for my first uh, maybe month there that children would come in and they'd, they'd say i'm in that this program they'd get have a little card or something and then they'd go into the children's area and mm-hmm. read, come back and say i read for 
uh, oftentimes they'd be with a parent as well. Mm-hmm. Right. So, yeah. So a few of the fine uh, forgiveness things that I found were specifically for kids. Okay. okay. And okay. and okay. the reading off your fines was a huge yeah. part of it. Yeah. Right. I right. didn't really read into how it worked though. Yeah. Right. I can't imagine. It would have know. to be honor system. It would, it would have I mean, to how be. would you enforce something like yeah. that? And right. why would you That's enforce kind of how I feel too. Yeah. something yeah. like I mean, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you say you did it, then cool. Sure. Then yeah. awesome. Right. You did it. Because right. the whole point, again, the is to get people into the library and right. engaging with the library. That, right. Yeah. Well, the less really punitive, the better. Yeah, Absolutely. For sure. IMHO. For sure. yeah. um, but another cool thing I found is that some systems are not even charging kids fines. Oh. So they just stopped charging fines on like underage cards i actually love that yeah i mean and really we kind of do that anyway because the parent is ultimately responsible right right so i mean i don't know what how their systems were set up i don't know if like right that followed the kid like to or past the age of 18 Mm -hmm. you know like i don't know once they switched over to an adult card Exactly. I don't know, but I love that because I will tell you, and Brandon, you will experience this one day, uh-huh. very soon, actually, when your child starts checking out their own books, oh. and they are responsible for checking out their own materials, and they have them in their room, I'm and sure. they get lost underneath the oh, bed. Oh, anywhere, yeah, for sure. For uh, we sure. Ha- Oh, my God. Alex had this one book called The Magic Pickle. It was a graphic <laughs> novel. And he swore up and down that he had returned it. And I was like, you've not returned it. I was working in the children's section at this time. I was like, you've not returned it. <laughs> I've all- checked the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> it's not yeah, there. It just came from there. It's this is my there. bag, baby. <laughs> and it was underneath his bed inside of a notebook. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> and right. he, when he cleaned his room, shock and surprise, he found it. Uh-huh, okay. Well, so I just want to say, April... Uh, uh, when you told Brandon that one day he will find this out or whatever, Brandon definitely had the caveman face going on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he was like, what? Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like it was this, pretty funny. I did oh, glance over. All of a sudden I have an urge to go club a lady and drag her by her hair. Into oh, don't gosh. do that. You'll Please don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. No, Jeez, dude. That, <laughs> that's not that really Maybe something. club Took a turn. A dinosaur. <laughs> not really maybe that might be a better choice. Unga bunga. Is oh, the name geez. of my Captain ra- Caveman. my radio handle. <laughs> Breaker one nine. This here's Unga Bunga. <laughs> Good <laughs> Lord. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> well, Cece, we need to find yours because I'm apparently Mary Pippin Thorngage. No doubt. Oh man, what could I be? I don't even know. Uh, but but okay. So but anyway, back to my story about <laughs> Alex. Food for this here's food <laughs> for fines. <laughs> Everybody else is like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to find location of the, lo- of the closest public library. <laughs> over. Come on back. No, 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 no. You said it wrong. You said it wrong. Library. Oh, <laughs> you're right. That's true. Uh, you said it wrong. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> for fun. <laughs> for fun. <laughs> fun. <laughs> oh, man. I can see you becoming a really, like a like an infamous, like, librarian trucker. <laughs> And there's yeah, like, there's like graffiti. Like I think that's yeah, F- bookmobile. F- F- like where you've been. <laughs> <laughs> bookmobile handle. Oh this episode, man, Cece is a nefarious, infamous librarian trucker. Uh, yeah, anyway. I don't even know. Totally possible. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Mobilian. Yeah. Oh jeez. But it ultimately, <laughs> with Alex's book, we were we found it. We returned it. It was taken care of. But jeez. They will, and Katie, my daughter, is notorious for this. She'll check out a book. She puts it in her to-read pile, and then she checks out books from the school. And then she has books that, like, I bring her or whatever, and it's all in her to-read pile. Hmm. And they'll sit there. Yeah, I'm yeah. bad about that, too. And yeah, yeah, yeah. sit there. So and sit there. And then that. she'll swear she returned it. And I'm like, Katie, I can see it. <laughs> it is right there. With my own eyes. With my own two eyes. <laughs> Oh my God! But yeah, so so that's why I'm saying I love the idea. Because, and then this is not just exclusive to my kids. This is across the board mm-hmm. all the time. Mm-hmm. Kids are misplacing things. Yeah. Um. So I love that idea. There's one more thing that I found that's pretty cool too. Okay. Mm-hmm. So if someone um, brings five people in to any library location, the, the Grand Rapids mm-hmm. Library, okay. um, that don't have cards. And those five people sign up, 
you can get twenty five dollars taken off your fines. Okay, that's like a bring well. a friend kind of a system. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. So spreading that good word, right? right. <laughs> bring people in, getting them cards, right? With no microtransactions I'm, I'm, involved. Nope. Right? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm down. Micro forgiveness. Micro, micro forgiveness. Macro well, forgiveness. Well, and we do, <laughs> we do find forgiveness one other time of the year, too. We do. For summer reading. Yes. When you yes, sign yes, up, yes. Mm-hmm. That's when you right. sign up for summer reading, right. you are, you, we do that. find forgiveness as well. We'll yeah. forgive whatever you've got on your account, I believe. Yeah. In and my yeah. experience, which is very limited. Just not lost stuff. Yes. Lost or, or collections. Right. Or collections. We, right. can't, we can't do those yeah. just because those are a third-party thing. People wait for summer reading. They sure do. Knowing that they can have their fines mm-hmm. uh, wiped mm-hmm. away, mm-hmm. except for these these two. Uh, but I mean, I will say, like, it's increased participation. You know, sure. it's, I mean, it's very true. Sure. I mean, you? we've had we've had like exponential growth since we've been doing the nice. fine forgiveness nice. over yeah, the summer. Very true. You know, very very true. I'm still curious how about accountability. Like with the um, uh, you mentioned, many library locations have done away with fines completely, mm-hmm. especially for children. Like so, that's I think that's awesome. But I wonder, like, the, uh, it's just chaos, you know what I mean? <laughs> Society in ruins. <laughs> like, who, <laughs> but who's, who's accountable here? So I Complete do wonder. anarchy. Obviously, yeah, right. <laughs> anarchy in the library. I, so I, I just I find myself wondering, you know, uh, what is the method of accountability in that case? You know? Well, the only one I can think of that's gotten rid of fines completely, I believe, is San Francisco. I could yeah. be wrong about that, but it, I mean, they're one of the biggest ones. I wonder okay. how I wonder how that's States. worked for them. I, I think it's new. I think mm-hmm. within the past year they've gotten rid of fines. Okay. But I mean, if you think about again, if you think about what fines are for, it's it's just to get people to bring stuff right, back. Right. You know. Right. So. I mean, they're still charging for lost things. Right. So they're still getting their stuff back, per se, you know? Right. And if that's the goal, Mm. then I'm not sure that taking away fines is going to keep you from reaching that goal. Does that make sense? Right. For sure, yeah. Right. Mm. It seems like the the fines have gotten bigger. Mm. It takes longer to get the fine, but the fine has gotten higher, really. Yes. Because it's just, rather than charging you a fine... Um, for every day that it's overdue, then what they do is they just take, you know, three months or whatever, and then it's right. like, okay, well, we're going to charge you for this item. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. So. Which, I mean, so. I mean, I, I can, yeah. I, I can see, I can see both sides of this. I, mm-hmm. I, I like All it, but also. All our are going. Yeah. I see, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, hmm, could we do this? Uh, yeah. Should we do I'm this? I'm over here like, I'm twirling the beard. I'm like, how would this, this work? Yeah, yeah. I'm liking this. <laughs> I do like it though, because that I mean that gives also gives people more time to finish something. Not everybody's going to finish yeah. a book mm. within the period of time. Now, mm-hmm. granted, at the same time though, we have two week checkouts on new books mm-hmm. or new and uh, new well, just new books. Mm-hmm. Um, like I have one at the house right now, and I'm very certain I'm not going to finish it before the two yeah. weeks are up. Mm-hmm. I can't read a book in two weeks. No at this point, like, I mean, I, I, I sure, can. Yeah, no way. I, I can finish it, and I, if I sat down and did it, I could be done with it in two days. Mm-hmm. But I don't have time to sit down and do it. I'm trying mm-hmm. to read it before yeah. I go to bed. Sure. So as a, as a way to wind down, and so I'm reading like two or three pages, and then I'm ready to sleep. Mm. Yeah. Well, mm. it's going to take me longer than two weeks to finish that. Right. Mm. So on one hand, that's great for uh, the fine, you know, not having the fines mm-hmm. and being able to keep it as long as I need it mm-hmm. up to this one point. Right. Uh, without having to call and renew and then mm-hmm. have like these nickel and dime fines. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah right. But, right, right. well, all dime fines because it's 10 cents for books. <laughs> uh, but um, but then at the same time, that eliminates that two-week checkout period right. because it's a new book and right. somebody else is going to be waiting for it. So, I, yeah, I, I mean, I'd see, be intrigued. I can see both sides of that. Yeah. Hmm. hmm. I wonder if they'll put out any kind of data. I would love to oh, see I'm their sure data on will. that. I would like sure to see it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I think this is the most library centered <laughs> podcast episode we have done today. Well, just to, <laughs> just to ruin that for a second, <clears throat> I'm over here this whole time. I am I'm sincerely considering all of these. These are important. Topics. Yeah. But also on this other side of my man brain, I'm over here going, um, you know the show Ice Road Truckers? Yeah. <laughs> I'm seeing us as Ice Road <laughs> Truckers, but not on an ice road, just on a normal road. <laughs> With our like librarian trucker <laughs> handles, like oh traveling, traveling the countryside, like giving like uh, 
um, eliminating people's fines. <laughs> <laughs> oh my <laughs> you know god! I mean? god. Like you're oh my going god! Going from library to library, <laughs> and we all we each have Slash our own fines. Right, Slash and fines. We each have our own like eighteen wheeler. <laughs> oh my like gosh! Caravan down the interstate in. Our, is it like CD an eighteen-wheeler ch- bookmobile? It's like it, well, there, there are three eighteen-wheeler caravans. <laughs> and like we're like have our own show. We're popular nationwide. I don't exactly know what we're called yet. <laughs> we're like the we're like the fine slasher, the librarian fine slashers, or something. You know, it's Unga Bunga, Mary Pippin, Thorn, <laughs> Thorn Gage, Thorn Gage, Thorn Gage, and food for fines. <laughs> <laughs> All one word. You know, we each have our own persona. You know what I mean? Like, uh, Unga Bunga is the comic relief, and Mary Pippin oh. Thorn Gage is the eccentric one, and Food for Fines is the one who gets stuff done. That's right. You know? So, real life? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, you know my God. We can show up at people's houses that, right. like, have books that we know that they haven't brought back <laughs> in like <laughs> ten <laughs> years. Kids are crying. Right. You know, like, <laughs> like we can't go to the library. And we're, we're like, like yes. false. Here, here come the librarian truckers. You know, <laughs> 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 we pull up. <laughs> so like we get out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, kids. <laughs> Uncle Bunk is on the case. Mary Pippin Thorn gauges hands out cookies. Yeah, right. Good. And lemon <laughs> spread. Yeah. And we literally <laughs> just take the books and we're like, "All right, thanks." Yeah. <laughs> that's really all you have to Go do. Go to your library. <laughs> you're, you're cool now, guys. Yeah. Whip out, you know, whip out your uh, your handy uh, scanner from your pocket. Yeah. Yeah. Bleep, bleep, yeah we have like bleep. cool equipment. Yes. Yes. <laughs> well, we do have uh, mobile Cirque. Yeah, see? Right. I mean, we could do. actually we do have that. Our <laughs> 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 yeah. but, but I have a truck. I have a truck. Right, right. This is like a, like a Saturday Nick morning cartoon like show. Just a pickup, but now we need antagonists. We need, like, who are our villains? You know? Oh, God. Yeah. Well, fines. Fines. fines We're wiping out villains. fines. And fines right. are like the little... The, what are they from Power Rangers? The, the putties. The putties. The putties. They're That's fine. what they look like. They're <laughs> fines. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> so as she checks stuff in like a little animated. Yeah, for sure it jumps out. <laughs> right. Tries to keep us, but with our, and we're like really like Doc Holiday with those wands. And we have, we have action sequences, <laughs> like like po- very Power Ranger. And oh, 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 our trucks combine together to be like oh, Megazord. April, stop it. Oh, my God. It. Our trucks are like Voltron Power Ranger trucks. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, this is one way to get rid of... <laughs> <laughs> I love the creative ideas. <laughs> this sounds right. a little time consuming. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go ahead and pitch this at the next uh, yeah, yes, sure. manager yeah. meeting. Yes, we please. have the budget for me and, multi trillion so dollar uh, me and April and Brandon are yeah. going to uh each get eighteen wheelers <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> drive around to local homes and <laughs> by the way our trucks combined to form a massive six story robot. <laughs> <laughs> so, here, here we get on that. We're gonna whip out our iPads and our scanners, <laughs> <laughs> and then animatronic. What are they called? Uh, uh, putties. Uh, the putty the putties are gonna fi- yeah, right. jump yeah, out, and there's gonna be a whole them. other animated uh, sequence. Yeah. Yes, yes. I think that wow. they'll totally go for that. I think <laughs> abso- we should absolutely do this. <laughs> we should do this. It needs to happen. In all seriousness. <laughs> <laughs> In all seriousness, <laughs> my handle name will be. No, no, I'm <laughs> right. joking. I was, I was trying to finish that for you. No, it's oh, great. Man. In all seriousness, I have like this. I think librarians are superheroes in a way. Like, you know, I, I really. Um, library uh, man. I, well, I know, right? <laughs> so I have a like library man history. I, I don't know. I, I love. I think the work we do is awesome. And, I do and, too. And, 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 I and love this, it. In this fantastical fantasy that I've, we've just created. Like <laughs> fantastical this fantasy. Fantastical <laughs> fantasy. Come along with me. <laughs> okay. I'm <laughs> I, get, I get too excited about these things. But yeah, never be afraid to uh, come to the library because you owe fines. For sure. Yep, or owe us stuff. For sure. The librarian fine rangers will help you. With go, our go, <laughs> librarian fine rangers. <laughs> I think okay. we might have some copyright issues I'm with done. that one. But with our you know, six keep story keep robot. <laughs> <laughs> keep working on that one. Thanks, I will. Oh my God. Well, <laughs> well my topic was going to, I was going to talk about Lost. But not specifically just Lost, the TV show. Mm. Um, I mean, I've decided to go back and rewatch it. So I have restarted the series. No. And I am watching it for the first time since the finale aired. 
Oh. I have not so even now you know all the things. looked oh, at it. Yeah, you do mm. know all the things. Uh, yeah, I know all the things. I know. So it's really interesting going back and watching, watching like the pilot episode, knowing what happens to these characters, and then finding out how much I have forgotten. Because yeah. it's been several years since yeah. it aired. I like, like a good revisit of some of, of yeah. other property. Well, like I was love. so I was so mad yeah. when the with the finale. Mm. I was like, I'm, I'm not. I can't do this. Yeah. I, I yeah. can't do this. True. And so. Um, so I started, started rewatching it yesterday and it's, it, it's, it's, it's really, really good. Okay. Yeah. Like okay. I were, I'm rewatching it and I'm like, you know nice. what? No wonder this show was such a huge success. Okay. It was so well done. Ooh. And so like the seeds for everything are, are planted from day one. See that, mm. that, that always, that the, um, the artistry that, that goes into that. Always, I like. Yeah, that. and and then um, I have more of an appreciation now because uh, there have been other shows that have come that have come after that mm -hmm. that have really kind of followed mm -hmm. that pattern where it's like you know you know exactly what the arc is going to be you know exactly where it's going to end mm -hmm. and this show is going to end when it's time mm -hmm. rather than dragging it out and that was one of the things that I do respect the creators for mm -hmm. of Lost for doing. Mm -hmm. um, Still not happy about that last episode, but whatever. Yeah. I'm going to be bitter forever. <laughs> was it a three year uh, series? It was a seven year. Oh, series. was it really? Yeah, it was long. yeah. I get three years. Yeah, yeah it was <laughs> seven years. It was a water cooler okay. conversation. For yeah. Lots yeah. Of years. yeah, 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 yeah. It really, really was. There were, a co I mean, there were some some seasons or some episodes where it's just like, what? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That makes no sense. Jack's tattoos. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, just saying. Yeah. yeah. But um, mm. but it but I've started revisiting it. So I was kind of wondering about the topic of shows that you just like cannot watch again, hmm. refuse to watch again. Well, I'm gonna tell you right and now. And Lost for me was one of them for a long time. One show that just refuses to get old, and I'm sorry to say, exactly no. the opposite of what. You no, said. this is fine. <laughs> just, just, just is the Office. I yeah. could <laughs> watch The Office every day until I'm 80 years old. It's wonderful. Now, okay, so back to back to your point. Though. All right, no, Shows no, no, I can't. No. Well, I've already mentioned that I can't watch Grey's anymore, but it, it's still on, so that doesn't yeah. really count. I don't feel like. Mm. Um, you could get sucked mm. back in at any moment. I could. Sh yeah. True. Shows that, uh, just so I'm clear, shows that I, I loved so much that, but it's I'm like one and done. Is that what you're saying? Or like just shows that you just like you just can't go back. Mm. Like Lost was one of those ones for me. Mm. Where I was obsessed with this yeah. show, like like sh where I am with Stranger Things, gotcha. I was there with Lost. Yeah. I was obsessed yeah. with this mm. show, okay. and um, like we would have parties where like people would come over and would watch it with us. Mm -hmm. um, nice. And uh, we would have like these nightly li these traditions where like, I would make popcorn and this person would bring over totally pizza bagels and we would have soda and whatever and this is what we would do. You just get lost. And then we would watch. I think actually we watched um, V afterwards because nice. um, it was on for a little while. And um, so we would do this. And it was wonderful. It was mm. so much fun. Mm. But then that one episode at the very end, mm -hmm. the finale, killed it. Mm. I was like, I can't. I mean, obviously got that was it. the end of the show. But I was I like, I, I can't. I, I can't it. watch this. Yeah, I okay. cannot go back and revisit this. And this is the yesterday was the first time I have watched a single moment yeah. from Lost other than like if it was in something else. Mm. Like, I was remembering uh, Knocked Up, I think. Like, the little girl is watching Lost in the in the. Oh, movie. really? Yeah, so she's talking about it. So, like, other than that, yeah, like yeah, that yeah. kind of thing is the only hmm. connection that I have had with mm -hmm. this show since the finale aired. Hmm. Until, hmm. until yesterday. Hmm. So, finally yesterday, I was like, okay. Hmm. I don't know what changed about it, but I was like, okay, I'm going to I'm, I'm gonna revisit it. Back and in. it's like... I remember how much I loved this mm -hmm. show. Yeah. I was like, oh my God, it's so good. I'm still bitter about the ending, but it's so good. I know there are things like this for me. Yeah. But I'm struggling right now. I know for sure there are things that I loved so much, and then I was kind of like, either like done with it, or mm -hmm. they, I didn't love the ending. You could maybe say this about The Matrix. I, I love The Matrix, though. I love all three of The Matrix movies mm -hmm. a whole lot, like more than the average person. Even like Rubber Neo in The Matrix reloaded. <laughs> I love it all. I really do. I, um, but it's hard for me to go, like, I kind of like, in my mind, I kind of have left it there. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, there are shows that I used to love that just didn't hold up over time. Mm -hmm. Sure, oh yeah. Oh sure. yeah, no, yeah, you know? there's yeah, yeah. definitely plenty We've of those too. Those I mean, there's yeah. a show called The L Word. I don't know if you've all heard of that before. I've heard of it. No I've heard it of was a really it. groundbreaking yeah. series. It was mm -hmm. on Showtime in like yeah. 2000. 
four or five. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was about LGBT women right. um, living in like the L.A. area. Right. And I mean, again, it was a huge deal. Yeah. Like parties at people's houses to watch it. Nice. Yeah. Really? Um, so, and I mean, I have, you know, watched it all the way through. Um, I've watched it a couple times all the way through. Mm-hmm. And like season one was great. And mm. then it just got really bad. Yeah. Like really like cringe worthy bad. Mm. Yeah. So not only did it kind of fall off, but I mean, here we are 10 years later after the show ended mm-hmm. and the world is so different now, no you doubt, know? No doubt, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, yeah. so you like, it's almost cool because you kind of forget mm. how much things have changed. Mm. But Until then, you go back and watch something like that, yeah. <laughs> and then you're just like, whoa. Yeah, what's well, like okay. watching you know? Friends for okay. me? Yeah, yeah we've it's like, talked about this. Yeah, yeah we've yeah, talked about this. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. watching it, I remember how... Women don't drink beer. <laughs> right, <laughs> right, right. What? Right. And, um, but I just remember watching this and being... and. and loving how modern and current yeah. and progressive yeah. this show was and yeah. now i watch it now and i'm like oh yeah. my god Isn't some of this nasty. stuff that they are saying or yeah. doing you could not like that's just not okay mm-hmm. now sure. yeah sure. yeah and yeah. rightfully so but mm-hmm. still wow yeah mm-hmm. it's just interesting the times change man yep Come well, gather around children well <laughs> that's our show Yay. It was a very nerd centric show. Yeah. Which they all are because it's the nerd factor. Oh. That's right. A library podcast from the Madison County Public Library in oh. Richmond and Berea, Kentucky. This here's Uncle Bunga signing <laughs> off, y'all. Watch for us soon on our uh, eighteen wheelers that will <laughs> you may see our giant six story tall I don't even know what we're gonna call it. It's the Megazord, dude. Megazord. What else are we gonna call it? <laughs> Friends like Obby. <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't care about copyright. <laughs> Law. <laughs> All right. Well, this is April. CC. Brandon, bye. Bye. Dang, he's a beauty to it. (laughs) Peace out, homies. I don't know.